सो हाई एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड इन टूडे सेशन गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द ई एस आई सेक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एंड नबार्ड सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर कमिंग हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर अपडेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द सेशन एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट दी कोर्सेज सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच से Which of the following is not correct about the deep ocean mission, which has been approved by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs? So you have to identify the incorrect statement regarding this mission, deep ocean mission. So let's talk about this mission. And question number two is also based on this. So as the question says that the Cabinet Ac uh, Committee on Economic Affairs has approved the deep ocean mission. Now what is the objective of this mission, guys? So the name suggests all. Iske naam mein iska objective chupa hua hai deep ocean mission, which means That some kind of studies will be conducted in the deep ocean. कुछ इस तरीके कुछ important type की studies जो है वो conduct कराई जाएगी in the deep ocean. Now what type of studies are these? The study regarding biodiversity, the study regarding the impact of climate change, the study regarding offshore marine station to explore the sources of thermal energy, and various other types of studies will also be conducted under this mission. And also remember, India is the sixth country to conduct oceanographic research in the deep ocean. इंडिया छठा कंट्री है जो कि ओशनोग्राफिक रिसर्च कंडक्ट कर रहा है इन द डीप ओशन आफ्टर यूएसए चाइना जापान जर्मनी एंड कैनेडा इन पांच कंट्रीज के बाद इंडिया छठा कंट्री है जो कि ओशनोग्राफिक रिसर्च को कंडक्ट करेगा इन द डीप ओशन और यू कैन से इन द डीप सी आल्सो नाउ व्हाट इज द एस्टिमेटेड कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज फोर जीरो डबल सेवन करोड फॉर पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर इज द ओवरऑल कॉस्ट फॉर दिस मिशन बट फॉर द फर्स्ट फेज दैट इज फॉर द थ्री ईयर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम टू टू ट्वेंटी The cost will be two eight two three point four crores. All right, and of course the nodal ministry will be the Ministry of Earth Sciences. And this ministry, remember, it is headed by Dr. Harshvardhan, and he is also the Minister of Science and Technology. And of course the Minister of Health and Family, uh, Health and Family Welfare. And his Lok Sabha constituency is Chandni Chowk, which is of course in New Delhi. And now talking about the components of the mission. Now remember one thing, guys. Here that you do not have to go in details of these components. Just remember the name of these components. That okay, these are the components which are under this mission. That is it. This is not necessary to learn any more. Number one is the development of technologies for deep sea mining and manned submersible. So there will be a manned submersible under this mission. They they will construct a manned submersible at a depth of six thousand meter with suite of scientific sensors and tools. and also there will be an integrated mining system a mining system bhi hoga that will be developed for mining polymetallic nodules now what is this polymetallic nodules remember guys these are the materials which are composed of various minerals uh, like uh, manganese is there nickel is there copper is there and these are used in the electronic components like smartphone laptop computer ic's sab jagah pe inka istemal hota hai right so in ki mining ke liye an integrated mining system will also be developed under this very first component now talking about the second component so the development of ocean climate change advisory services so through this services through through this service any change in climate will be advised agar ocean mein koi bhi climate change aata hai to wo advice pehle hi de di jayegi taki tsunami jaisi cheezon se bacha ja sake all right then we have technological innovations for exploration and conservation of deep sea biodiversity and remember iske component ke naam se hi pata chal raha hai that there will be bio prospecting of the deep sea flora and fauna including the microbes and the studies on sustainable utilization of deep sea bio resources will be the main focus isme jo main focus hoga wo kis pe hoga bio resources ki sustainability ke upar how we can make the bio resources sustainable will be the main focus of this number third component and then deep sea uh, deep ocean survey and exploration so as the name suggests some kind of survey and exploration work will be uh, conducted under this component then we have energy and fresh water from the ocean the the studies regarding how we can extract fresh water from the ocean water which is of course salty so hum fresh water kaise nikal sakte hain ocean water se uske regarding studies hongi and then how we can harness the ocean energy how we can convert the ocean energy into some kind of useful energy like electrical energy and other kind of energy all right and then we have advanced marine station for ocean biology now this component is very important this will translate research into industrial application and product development through the on site business incubator facilities so remember only research is not enough research agar karte rahoge to that will be not enough 
so that research uh, should be translated should be transformed into the industrial application as well then only we can have the benefit of that particular research all right so now this was about this news and now let's come back to question number 1 and 2 so you have to identify the incorrect statement here ministry of environment forest and climate change is the nodal agency of the mission is that so no it is ministry of earth sciences so this statement is incorrect estimated cost of the mission is rupees 4077 crores for a period of 5 years absolutely correct and it aims to study biodiversity and impact of climate change yes this is also correct and various other kind of studies will also be conducted under this mission so therefore option c only one should be the correct answer guys and now let's talk about the second question which of the following is not one of the components under the deep ocean mission so as i told you you have to remember the name of the components at least all right detail mein mat jao don't go into the details but yes you have to remember the names at least so development of technologies for deep sea mining and manned submersible yes at a depth of 6000 meter absolutely correct developing technologies to promote deep ocean tourism tourism ki baat yahan pe nahi hui hai abhi so this must be the correct answer option b all right option b will be the correct answer because the mission does not talk about any kind of deep ocean tourism all right and now let's move ahead to question number 3 which is regarding an mou between the ministry of ports shipping and waterways which is headed by mr mansukh mandavia and he is rajya sabha mp from gujarat he is in rajya sabha mp from gujarat and ministry of civil aviation which is headed by mr Gur, uh, hardeep singh puri hardeep singh puri is also the minister of housing and urban affairs and he is also the uh, member of parliament from rajya sabha in uttar pradesh okay uttar pradesh se ye rajya sabha mp hain so an mou has been signed between these two ministries for development of sea plane services in india so for developing sea plane services this mou has been signed the question is which of the following is not one of the benefits of this agreement so let's talk about this mou remember this mou has been signed for development of sea plane services and i hope you all knew, uh, all know what is the meaning of sea plane here it is a powered wind uh, fixed wing aircraft which is capable of taking off and landing on water and sea planes usually are divided into two categories float planes and flying boats but we don't have to go in that much detail now remember this mou Uh, under this mou development of operation of sea plane services will be there within the territorial jurisdiction of india under the scheme rcs udan ude desh ka aam nagrik i hope you all know about this scheme regional connectivity scheme ude desh ka aam nagrik so under this scheme this development will be conducted and what will be the task of shipping ministry then so it would identify and develop water for waterfront air aerodromes and other required infrastructure and what will be the task of civil aviation ministry it will identify the potential airline operators through a bidding process airline operators bhi of course sahi honge so the minister of civil aviation will identify those operators and it will also incorporate the location and routes as identified the shipping ministry okay and now the question is about the benefits so we have to uh, you know hame khud se andaaza lagana padega we have to ourselves guess that what could be the you know benefits of this particular mou so it will promote eco friendly transformation transportation absolutely correct it will promote a new kind of tourism service in india again correct this will help in expediting the development of new water aerodromes this is also correct it will contribute to in, to an increase in the level of current social infrastructure facilities as the proposed side of course kyunki agar business increase hota hai ya kisi bhi tarike ki koi activity increase hoti hai to it will definitely contribute to the social infrastructure facilities as well and it will give a boost to the india's sea trade sea trade says ka koi lena nahi hai that means option e will be the correct answer sea trade says ka koi relation nahi hai guys all right so i hope guys this question is clear and now let's move ahead to question number 4 which is the last question for today a startup dash incubated at iit madras developed the medicab hospitals which will help in extension of hospitals so this project is known as the extension of hospitals project and our country india has started this project in various states now this has been done to to plug a major health gap uh, health infrastructure gap that we saw in the recent uh, second phase of covid 19 so jo wo health infrastructure ka gap hai usko fill karne ke liye this project has been started by the government of india and what is this project basically so these these are basically medicap hospitals are basically the foldable hospitals foldable hospitals and you can see here in this image this type of hospital is this medicap hospitals it is basically a foldable hosp uh, hospital 
and it has been developed by Modulus Housing, which is a startup, and this startup is incubated at IIT Madras. Now these are the extension of hospital infrastructure and can be built adjacent to an uh, existing hospital building. So let us say this is a this is a hospital, and here we can uh, develop we can you know. Uh, develop this this medicare medicare hospital basically these are the foldable hospitals one has to just unfold this and then we have a hospital near the uh, you know main hospital all right this enables building a 100 bedded extension facility in 3 weeks times and these are designed with a dedicated zone of icus that can accommodate various life uh, life supporting equipment and medical devices also so this is a very you know big achievement by this modulus housing startup and i hope this news is clear now let's come back to the question a startup dash which is modulus housing option d would be the correct answer and guys that's it for the session today i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless